Hey, Brian Stucker here from Boomer Fitness, and I'm gonna give you five weight loss tips for men over the age of 40. Welcome to my office. Um, the main reason and the important things for weight loss in these weight loss tips for men over the age of 50, it comes down to this, is that when you get a little bit older and you, you, you've worked out less, your body's weaker, the body fat starts going up, what ends up happening is, I mean, 40% I mean, of men in America are overweight or obese. And that leads to heart disease, it leads to type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and stroke. So um, by following these five weight loss strategies, it's going to end up helping you uh, reduce those uh, risk factors. So the number one thing is we, we, we've got to do overall, from top to bottom, is we need to Re, start rebuilding this metabolism, which is going to help you for your long-term health. Um, in your 20s, let's say, for example, you were burning 3,000 calories a day. Well, every decade, every decade, you lose your metabolism by 5%. Um, when that happens, so now you're 50, you've lost your metabolism by 15%. So maybe you're burning you know, 3,000 calories a day. Now you're burning, you say, around 2,500 calories a day. So... Um, we need to start rebuilding that metabolism. And when our, we start gaining more body fat and our metabolism starts slowing down, our testosterone levels start going down, which affects our muscle mass. So how do we, uh, the tip number two, outside of rebuilding your uh, metabolism, tip number two is you start prioritizing weight training. You start, uh, how I would approach that is I would set a beginner program where you would work out four times per week and you'd work all your major muscle groups in a circuit training style. Uh, you do three circuits, uh, three rounds of these main exercises, and you do, <coughs> excuse me, anywhere from 10 to 12 repetitions. Uh, what this is going to start doing is put enough uh, stress on your body to start uh, increasing your metabolism, but also start to help you uh, rebuild uh, muscle. And every pound of muscle we have burns an extra 50 calories at rest. Uh, the third thing that I would do to help you start rebuilding that metabolism is interval training. I would add interval training in twice per week. I, I wouldn't do anything more than that in the beginning because you need to recover. Um, um, if you're doing interval training all the time, you're not giving your body uh, enough time to recover, your stress goes up, um, your recovery goes down, and, and chance for injury goes up, and you don't have an opportunity um, to rebuild that metabolism and it'll actually burn out and you won't want to do this anymore. So interval training, I would do it twice per week and it would look something like a, a one for one. Say you hop on a bike, I would go you know, 30 seconds on a scale of one to 10. My intensity would be a seven and then I would go uh, seven or eight. And then for another um, 30 seconds, I would then go at a lower pace where the intensity is maybe between a four and a five. And I'd cycle through that about uh, 10 times. Another interval that you could do, is um, you could do some, you could go on the elliptical, you go one minute fast on the elliptical, uh, get that heart rate up uh, in, where you feel on a scale of one to 10, uh, you're at that seven or eight again, and then one minute, uh, bring it back down. Um, so I would start incorporating your interval training involved with that. The fourth thing you would have to do is start, uh, start working on your stress levels. Uh, when you have higher stress levels, you're more apt to go eat food to numb your brain and numb your body from that stress, get you those calming feelings from the carbohydrates that you're eating or, or drinking, and it will you know, help you alleviate your stretch. So let's try to find better ways to, uh, not try, commit yourself to finding better ways to help you with stress. Uh, so what I would do is I would find a place where you could do some yoga. Um, what that's going to do is help you uh, calm your body, uh, relieve stress. I would uh, prescribe a flexibility program. Um, a lot of males uh, are more high performers uh, in their 50s. Uh, they have a lot of stress in their life from family and from work. Find ways to uh, be grateful more. Um, start a gratitude journal. I know a lot of guys, you know, they think it's woo-woo and they don't want to do those kind of things, but uh, I've had some people just try it on for four to six weeks and what they end up finding by adding that gratitude into their life, you know, when you have, when you're grateful, you know, there, you know, fear and stress cannot exist. So find a way to be grateful, uh, pray, uh, find time to disconnect each week 
from the daily grind. Take a day and get rid of your electronics, get rid of your cell phones, and spend a day um, away from those things. Uh, get you away from the stress. And then the last one is you've got to start managing your diet. Not, and a lot of people would have put that one first, but I put this one last because if you don't do all those other things first, the, the diet won't matter. So uh, what I would focus on diet is I would find out your BMR, and then I would be eating as many of the nutrient-dense foods as I can that were whole, on-processed foods. They're going to help you feel full. The protein is going to help your body recover. I would focus on 1 to 1 uh, 5 grams of protein per body weight. Uh, eliminate all processed carbohydrates. So keep a food log. You know, keep a food log. Look through your journal after three days. You're like, ah, oh, food log. Another one of those food logs. By doing a food log, and I've seen this with my top guy clients. One, you're mentally writing things down. So now you're less likely to want to eat those things. But the second thing, you can take a week, uh, look through your week or your three days, and say, man, I didn't know I was eating this many chips. I was eating this many fries drinking this kind of stuff. And what you'll end up doing is you'll easily start eliminating those and start replacing those with other foods that are going to make you feel full, help you recover. Um, so get rid of those processed foods and see where those are through the food journal. And then up your fat. So some good ratios to stick by is like a, you know, 30, 40, uh, 20, 30, 50, 20. So um, you know, 30% protein, 50% carbs, 20% fat. And these carbs are, again, you know, people say, oh, carbs. But that carbs are your energy. Um, so with fixing the diet, make sure it's 500 calories less per day than uh, what you're burning. And usually try to get that burning through the exercise that I prescribed above. So, again, these were five weight loss tips for men over the age of 50. I'm glad you could stop by the office. This is going to reduce your risk factors for type 2 diabetes. You know, you know, you know Type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol, um, you know, stroke heart disease. So these are things that we really need to start being aware of. And if you follow these five tips and actually commit and apply them to your life, you're going to start seeing some great benefits and you'll get a good gold star from your doctor the next time you go see him. So have yourself a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to give you a free gift. I want to give you four free workouts that's going to help you become more lean. It's going to give, help you be more toned. It's going to help you be stronger. So you can have a better overall quality of life. To get that free gift is I want you to go down below in the description box you're going to see a link. When you click on that link it's going to take you another page and you want your email address and that's where you can get those four free workouts. Make sure you give us a like to let us know that you like the video. Also leave a comment down below so of what kind of video you want us to make for you so I can do that for you. And the last thing is make sure you subscribe because you'll be notified of all the great videos that we're making just for you.